According to LinkedIn, there are around 2 lakh plus SQL and more than 30,000 NoSQL jobs available in India. Does this mean SQL is better than NoSQL? No. Both the databases have their own features. So choosing between the databases completely depends on the requirement of projects you have. Hello and welcome everyone to the video on SQL vs MySQL by IntelliPart. In this video, we will look into how SQL differs from NoSQL. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe to our IntelliPart YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to come across more updates like this. So before any further ado, let's get started with the comparison of SQL and NoSQL. So what is SQL? SQL or a Structured Query Language is a standard database language which is used to create, maintain and retrieve information from a relational database. So this sort of database stores data in tabular format. What does this mean? This means the data is spread in the form of rows and columns. So here a term relational database, you might not be familiar with this, but worry not, we will look into this afterwards. So here are some of the features of SQL which makes it popular database management system of all the time. So they fit into most of the popular software stack, easy and familiar structure, it eliminates redundancy and synchronizes the data. So these are the features of SQL. However, these benefits may not be sufficient for challenging business requirement. So here, NoSQL fills the gap. A relational database is a collection of database organized into tables or relations of rows and columns that have predetermined relationships with each other. What does this mean? How they are connected? So basically the tables are connected by the unique IDs or keys. When the user need to access the information or a specific information, they can use a key to access all the table of data that have been predetermined to be related to that key. So this is how the relational database works. Now moving forward, we will look into some of the popular relational databases that is used nowadays. So these are MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle Database, SQLite, Microsoft SQL Server and much more. Now moving forward, we will look into what is NoSQL. So NoSQL database is a non-relational database, which means it does not use tabular schema to store the data. As you have already seen, SQL is a relational database which uses tabular schema to store the data. But unlike SQL, NoSQL is a non-relational. It does not use tabular schema to store the data. So how does it store the data? So basically it uses storage models to store the data which are optimized to meet the specific requirement of the type of data to be stored. For example, the data can be stored as a key value pair, JSON documents or the graph with the edges and vertices. So despite the absence of tabular structure, NoSQL has gained the popularity because of the widespread adoption of databases like MongoDB, Cassandra and the HBase. We will look into it afterwards. Now moving forward, we will look into what is non-relational database. A non-relational database is a type of database that doesn't use the tables, fields and the columns of relational database. Instead of that, non-relational database uses the storage models that we have already discussed that is optimized for the data being stored. So a NoSQL database are designed for the cloud that are good at horizontal scaling. They are used for the big data and the real-time web apps. Now moving forward, we will look into some of the popular non-relational databases used nowadays. So some of them are MongoDB, Apache HBase, Cassandra, CouchDB, Redis and much more. Now moving forward, let's try to compare the SQL and NoSQL on the basis of some factors. So the very first factor is definition. So SQL is known as relational database, NoSQL is known as non-relational database. We have already seen a relational database is a type of database that stores data in the form of tables. But NoSQL database are a type of database that does not use this schema. But other than that, it uses storage models to use the data. Now moving forward, language. So SQL uses a standard language called a structured query language. But on the other hand, NoSQL doesn't have any fixed language. Language varies from the database to database. Now moving forward, the type. So SQL has a table based database. As we have already seen, SQL is a relational database. On the other hand, no SQL has document based like key value pairs, graph bases and the table based databases. Now moving forward on the basis of scalability. So SQL database are vertically scalable, whereas no SQL are horizontally scalable. What does this mean? So basically, horizontal scaling distributes workload across a large pool of resources, 
वेयर एज वर्टिकल स्केलिंग इंक्रीजेज अ पावर ऑफ इफिशियंसी ऑफ अ सर्वर which allows it to handle more demanding applications now moving forward we will look into the features of sql and no sql so the features of sql is high performance easy to use and flexible tool whereas no sql provide with the cross platform support free and the secure now moving forward we will look into the companies using sql so, so there are various companies like microsoft facebook linkedin dell messenger so these are the top companies using sql and the companies using no sql are capgemini amazon adobe sap and much more now the question is which one is better sql or no sql the choice between the sql and no sql completely depends on the web application you need to deal with whenever people compare with sql and no sql they state that no sql overpowers sql and is better you must know that this is a myth remember none of them super shades each other and no sql is not a replacement of sql but rather an alternative to it in reference to the differences between databases one of the technology expert said one size does not fit all it means some projects and the applications are better suited to sql while others are best suited for no sql in fact some sql databases are adopting the feature of no sql and working in collaboration there have always been some rules when using databases like mysql database being used by the php or dot net projects do not consider it a rule you may use mongodb in your php application similarly you can use sql server in node js applications instead of considering no sql as only suitable fit that's all we got in this particular video of sql and no sql and the differences between them I hope you guys are clear with the concepts of SQL and NoSQL. So to see more updates like this, follow the IntelliPart YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates from us. Just a quick info, guys. IntelliPart offers a data science course which will help you master Python, SQL, machine learning, AI, and Power BI. Get a data science certification from IIT M Pawardak and Innovation Hub of IIT Madras. With this course we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition you can check out their testimonials on our achievers channel whose link is given in the description below without a doubt this course can set your careers to new height so visit the course page link given in the description and take the first step towards the career growth with the data science course